In this video, we are going to understand the lesson Landscape of the Soul, which is in your 11th class syllabus. Let's begin with the lesson. Story of Wu Daozi In 8th century China, Wu Daozi painted his last painting, which was a landscape. He was asked to make a landscape to decorate a palace wall. The emperor admired the wonderful painting. So Wu Daozi was told to make a painting for the emperor. He made it. It was a landscape which was admired by the emperor. It includes forests, mountains, waterfalls, clouds and the immense sky in it. The painter requested the emperor to look into the cave drawn in the landscape. There lives a spirit, the painter said. He clapped his hands, the cave opened. The inside was splendid. Please let me show your majesty the way. The painter said these words and entered the cave. The door closed behind him. The painting disappeared from the wall. The artist was never seen again in this world. Stories like Wu Daozi's are quite common in China's classical education. Books of Confucius and Zhuangzi are full of them. They give proper guidance to students. They are deeply revealing. They reveal the spirit of the art. In contrast, there is also a story of a painter. He would not paint the eye of the dragon lest it would come out of the painting. So he was not ready to paint the eye of the dragon. Why? Because it was so realistic that it would come out of the painting. In contrast to the Chinese paintings, the European paintings reveal delicate realism. So there is a story of a blacksmith. The name of the blacksmith is Quentin. He lived in Antwerp in Europe. He fell in love with the painter's daughter, but the painter wouldn't accept such a son-in-law. So Quentin entered the studio quietly and then painted a fly. So he painted a fly on it and he painted it so realistically that the painter tried to swat it away. He thought that it was a real fly. The painter thought so. The painter was so impressed with Quentin and kept him as the apprentice in the studio. He also gave off his daughter in marriage to him. Quentin went to become one of the most famous painters of his times. There is a contrast between the Chinese and the European paintings. Let's see that. Chinese paintings reflect inner self, inner life and spirit. European paintings, it paints real life. Chinese landscape is not a real one. European landscape is an actual one. So, if the reader or the viewer has to see a painting, he has to enter the mind of the painter when he is viewing a Chinese painting. But while seeing a European painting, he has to enter the eye of the painter. So what the painter sees is what he draws and what is in the mind of the painter is drawn by in the Chinese paintings. Chinese versus European viewpoints. Classical Chinese landscape, the focus is not on realism. It is not the actual view which is painted by the Chinese painters. European painters focus on realism or the actual landscape. So a European painter would paint the scene as and how he sees. But the Chinese painter would paint a view as and how he imagines it. So it is the mind which he uses or the imagination which he adds to the landscape. It cannot be the real view which is seen and painted just as it is. But they use imagination and they paint it how they imagine the landscape to be. So a European painter wants you to see through his eyes. Because he's drawing what he sees, he wants you to see through his eyes. You will have to borrow his eyes. The Chinese painting is not a real landscape. You have the freedom. The Chinese painter does not want you to borrow his eyes, but he wants you to enter his mind or his imagination. Daoist view of the universe. Sun Shui means mountain, water. It means mountain and water. Yang means mountain. It rises vertically to heaven. 
yin means water it is horizontal and resting on the earth so yang is what yang is a mountain it is vertical and it rises up to heaven and yin is what yin is water which is horizontal and is resting on the earth let us understand yang and yin yang means mountain yin means water yang it rises vertically to heaven a mountain rises vertically towards heaven yin is water it is horizontal and resting on the surface of the earth active and masculine yang is active it is masculine whereas yin is receptive and feminine yang is not opposite but is complementary to yin and yin is not opposite but is complementary to yang these are the two concepts yang and yin in daoist view there is a middle void also the middle void is the emptiness or the void where both yang and yin interact it is like the suspension of breath in the yogic practice of pranayam it is here that meditation occurs the middle void is essential nothing can occur without it therefore there is importance of the white unpainted space in the chinese landscape man's role in art is very fundamental man lies between heaven and earth man is the medium of communication between both poles of universe that is heaven and earth man is the medium of communication between the two his presence is very essential man is the eye of the landscape and this was said by francois cheng outsider art or art brut the concept of art brut or raw art was given by the french painter jean dubuffet in the year 1940s it is the form of art where an artist who has received no formal training is able to present his art without any formal training yet they show vivid talent and artistic insight these are untrained artists raw art that comes directly from the person or the individual without any training nick chand an untutored genius he is the creator of rock garden in chandigarh he used recycled material to create his world famous rock garden he is considered as the biggest contributor to outsider art in india he recognized that everything from a tin to a sink all could be used in an artistic manner and turned into an art he received awards from france belgium and italy but his greatest honor is walking through the rock garden and enjoying his own creation said nick chan so this was the lesson the landscape of the soul if you like the lesson don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos like and share the video thank you for watching this video